Did you know that behind the wrought iron gates that lead into holes of each town f- Hope Park lies what well, some may consider a dark and intriguing secret. For seven years it was used to house German and Italian prisoners for World War Two, Known as Camp 42, prisoners work, war working camp, thousands of prisoners defeated access forces passed through its gates from 1942 all the way through until 1948. It built on what was known as the Expedition Field, joining that what is now Forester's Road and du- Dubal's Terrace to the east of the park. Many of the Italian dainties were immediately put to work, either harvesting or land drainage products at local farms. When their legacy, the present, lives on to this day, of the wall, the perimeter of fencing and compounds were used to make iron farm gates and fencing stakes, some of which are said to survive to this day. Although World War II ended in 1945, many prisoners of war, or POWs, as they were widely known, did not return home until much later. The number of G- German POWs in Britain actually peaked in 1946, around about 400,000 before repatriation began. Gradually bringing that number down by late 1948, very few remained in captivity, although around 25,000 chose to stay in the UK to start new lives. Though initially Italians inhabited the camp, they were gradually joined by more and more Germans who lived around, started arriving in November 1944. By that time, the Italian dictator Bertino Mussolini had already been removed from power. Italy had switched sides to declare war on Germany, so Italian prisoners were granted far more freedom than before. When the German prisoners started arriving, instead they grew frustrated at the work shy attitude of the Italian brothers in arms. Every day they would be driven to farms across Devon before embarking on a day's work before returning home. It was not without hazards, as the account of from 1947 shows. No one, for, no one, fortunately, was very seriously injured when two murderous lorries collided at Stowford Cross, Bradbury, on Tuesday morning. One lorry belonging to the Devon War Agricultural Executive Committee Conveying POWs to work on the farms and neighbourhood, and the other, owned by Torrid Vale Dairies, was on a milk collecting round. Lorries were proceeding at right angles to each other, one along the Limp Scott Bradworthy Road, the other from Kimworthy Batchborough Road. When they were converged on the four crossway, the impact occurred. Both vehicles were badly damaged. Mr. F. Harris, an employee of DWAEC, and some POWs who appeared to be suffering from bruises and shock, were moved by the holes of the ambulance. Drivers' lorries were practically un- unhurt. One over time, more and more German prisoners arrived, many of whom came from the Channel Islands after they were liberated. The camp itself soon became an administrative centre for five other camps throughout Devon and Cornwall, including one in mid-Devon in Tiverton. Much like its North Devon cousin, Tiverton first housed Italian prisoners before increasing numbers of German TTs arrived. Other camps in South West included Tavascott, Biddeford, Bridgestone, Oakhampton, Holland, Honington, Hall Burton, L. Burton, Ivy Bridge, Cease Holton, and even Pinhole on the outskirts of De- Exeter. 
Every now and again, escape attempts were made, although they usually ended up with the culprit being returned to the camp. Plans are made to convert the camp into a displaced person's camp for poles. However, the scheme was dropped. Many of the huts and the guard compounds and the prison compounds were converted to temporary housing. Halls Museum's historian Sean Diamond said it's probable, possible that there are people in Hallsby today who spent their early years growing up in these huts. Never think the remains of the camp. A little has been written regarding its history or lives of those who found themselves there.